Happy Monday. Hun, I think I found a title for this vlog. Snow, snow, and more snow. Looks like we got another little bit overnight, so I'm gonna go out there, clean it up. Hopefully the sun comes out today and this starts to melt. I gotta know, when can we do this again? And this, this is all ice. Okay, we'll go on level so you can see the ruts. Oh, that truck got right up to the curb yesterday. This guy's still stuck here. <laughs> you better pick early which way you want to go through this intersection because I think once you commit, I think you might be stuck. Yeah, a little bit better than job well done. Whew. Irene, she's over here making split a split pea, pea soup. soup. Sounded good for a snow day, and I don't know why. Probably because it's green, but it feels St. Patrick's-y to me. Plus, I just love a good split pea soup, and we have lots of yummy ham in the freezer right now. So, I'm just getting my parsley chopped up. I've got split peas, like well-washed split peas, and then I've got some garlic and onion and carrot in there and I'm going to add in some Italian parsley, some thyme, salt, pepper. Um, I put a bay leaf in there as well and some ham and chicken broth and then we'll let it cook all day in the crock pot and mm. it should be delicious tonight. All right my soup is all assembled and cooking away. So I did do a couple shortcuts on this recipe and I'll post the recipe link in the description if you guys want to try this at home. Um, but I did just use diced ham. You're supposed to put like a whole ham bone in there, but we just had that really nice diced ham in our freezer. So I put that in there and then, um, you're supposed to use like real like time and actually cut it up. Um, but time is kind of expensive to buy. Um, I want to grow an herb garden this summer because Time is not expensive to grow, um, but it's just exotic enough, I guess, um, that it's a little bit more expensive to buy at the grocery store. So I have like the ground time and I use that, but I did like half the amount of time just because I feel like it's more concentrated when it's that like dried powder time versus if I had gotten like fresh time and actually like cut it and chopped it up myself. So those are the only two shortcuts I took on this recipe. So we'll see how it tastes, but I'm really excited about it. Um, basically, it's gonna cook for eight hours in the crock pot, and then when it gets close to done, um, you would take the ham bone out and shred the ham off and then kind of mash up the peas and remove the bay leaf. So I'm thinking when there's like about two hours left, um, I'll take the bay leaf out and mash up some of my peas and stir it around and then just let it cook for another two hours. And then you can add additional chicken broth at that time if you need to based on the consistency. So we'll see how it's looking. I did put in a full container of chicken broth, which is four cups of chicken broth. So hopefully that's enough, but if not, um, I can certainly add in some more tubes. So we'll see, but I like my split pea soup kind of like thick. So I'm really hoping that it turns out that way. Um, I, I love split pea soup, but I've never really attempted to make it raw from split peas. So we'll see. I hope this is a great recipe and it's one that we can do over and over again because it was really pretty simple. There was quite a bit of prep just cutting up the onion and the carrot and the parsley. Parsley is like literally my least favorite thing. So if you have any tricks on how to speed up the process of chopping parsley, I just feel like it takes forever to get the leaves off. And I know they make like fancy little like tools that like help you strip leaves off, but I don't know. Are they gimmicky? Do they actually work? If you use something to speed up the process of cutting parsley, leave it in the comments because I would love to know it's my least favorite thing to work with in the kitchen. All right, now I'm gonna go get in my workout and get the vlog edited so we can get that up. We've got so many vlogs coming out this week. It's gonna be a busy, busy week with St. Patrick's Day and spring break and hopefully snow melt and transition to spring. All right, workout time. So Noom update. Officially, I have been doing Noom for one week. So I am through the free seven day trial and now I'm on to my like three month 
um, subscription. Um, so I did pay, I think I paid $98. I'm not sure if I said this or not, but I paid $98 for three months. I was able to find a promotional code online that gave me a discount. So $98 for three months. And then I did pay an additional $49, which was a promotion at the time of joining for a custom fitness and nutrition plan. So I am going to start the fitness plan today and see how that contributes. Um, I am down almost three and a half pounds from my first week, um, like 3.2 pounds. Um, so I know that's not like a sustainable weight loss. I really think just from it being my first week and making like changes to my diet, just being more conscientious of how many calories I was consuming and how many calories I was burning and being super consistent with working out every day, drinking all my water. I think being really dedicated to that for an entire week. Um, to me, it felt like kind of my system was cleansing itself. So I don't anticipate I'm gonna lose three and a half pounds a week, nor do I feel like that's sustainable. But I feel like the first week, it's not a huge surprise to be down that much. And it's pretty common, I think, for a lot of people that have joined Noom and their experience is to kind of have you know, more drastic weight loss that first week because your body's just resetting and really like balancing itself out. So instead of like kind of maintaining my weight and gaining weight, I'm actually eating as many calories as I need to be with an output of energy to actually lose weight. So um, I'm hoping to lose maybe like one to two pounds a week would be awesome. That would help me hit my goal of losing 20 pounds before our trip in July. So we'll see how it goes. But today I'm gonna to start my custom fitness plan. So let me just show you what that looks like. Um, I think this is normally like $150 if you just buy it outright, but they do have these promotions when you join. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it and just see what I get. So let me show you what I got with my $50 promotional joining fitness and nutrition plan. So when I did these, I filled out a little survey that kind of laid out my preferences, like how I like to eat, how I like to work out, what kind of an eater I am, all those sorts of things. And then I got these two PDF guides. And I won't lie, I was a little disappointed when it ended up just being these like PDFs. I was like, really? Like for 50 bucks? But as I dive deeper into them and really look at it, there's a lot of good information and I do feel like they're really more so custom tailored to me. I feel like the workout plan is maybe more than the meal plan, but we have so many allergies. So any sort of like diet nutrition thing that I've ever tried to do is really challenging when you have dietary restrictions in addition to trying to do like some sort of um, diet change. So we'll see how that goes, but they do have a lot of recipes. Um, so it's a 19 page PDF and it's got all kinds of information in it. So I won't go as much into the meal plan this time because I'm not necessarily gonna tackle that this week, um, but I am gonna dive in to this fitness plan. So it is a 32 page document um, and what it does is basically, um, I told them I wanna work out probably five to six days a week. Um, probably more realistically, I will aim for seven, but I like to have at least one rest day in there um, because you know life happens and you just never know and I think you have to give yourself a rest day. It's healthy to have a rest day, but um, by saying seven days, I may like, instead of like having a rest day, I still wanna at least like walk and hit my steps on that day. So um, I probably will be active seven days a week, but maybe not necessarily working out seven days a week. So basically it just kind of gave me this plan um, and it breaks everything down on kind of what they are. And then what I do like is that not only does it give you this, and this does feel very personalized to my preferences and what I told them and how I like to work out and what my goals are. So that felt really good. Um, and then it does go into deeper detail. So what I really like is not only is it like do some cardio, it's like, here's ways that you can do this. This is what this is. This is what it looks like. This is what it could be. Here's some options. Here's high intensity options. Um, and strength training and all these things, but then it also breaks everything down. So it'll tell you like, you know, to do upper body or, you know, weight based activities, like body weight based activities, like here's what that looks like. So here's an airplane, here's a, here's a crunch, here's a plank. So I really like that it really makes it easy 
and accessible. Um, and then it gives you templates too. So then you can actually print these out and fill in what you did each week. So I really like that and I'm gonna dig into that today. So day one, week one, ah, get back up here. My goal today is to do 30 minutes of cardio and some upper body workout. I am still feeling pretty sore from doing all that snow removal yesterday, but I'm gonna keep with it because one of the things I've learned in all the years of doing this is that if you're sore, keep going. It definitely helps you to build that muscle tone and honestly helps so you don't feel even more sore. All right, done with my cardio. That was like the fastest 30 minute walk on a treadmill I've ever done. I was busy watching all the Pi Day collab videos. If you haven't seen our Pi Day video yet, go check it out and check out everybody's yeah. videos. Cause it was such a fun collab. So now, <laughs> now it's time for some upper body. First up, shoulder taps. Next up, airplanes. Next up, plank twists. Next, push-ups. I hate push-ups. Last up, tricep dips. And I had to go get a chair for this one because I didn't have anything in the workout room that would work for this. <laughs> While he's working along with me or building a floor, who knows. All right, now I'm just going to repeat each of those two more times, eight reps each, and I'll be done with my upper body for today. how much upper body sucks. Yeah. Pat, I can feel the burn. But I did it. Day one, and my workout routine complete. Mark is uh, starting to turn it into a full-time job pushing cars out of the neighborhood. <laughs> this guy's been stuck here for a while and plows are getting ready to come through, so Mark's helping him get it moved out. It's a gorgeous day after a snowfall. Got my snowshoes on. Wally's well, got his sled out. Watch out, big Zerah! Yikes, it was almost a clothesline. Whoa. And Irene's got her snowshoes on. Hey, Biggs. Biggie Whoa. is curious as to when her she. Peter. Her feet are so big, she doesn't need snowshoes. Well, that's Biggie, what happened to your face? Can you put Wally, what are we making? A gnome and a red Oh my gosh, he looks so cool. He's green. I love it. Should we give him an orange beard? Yeah. Okay. I, can, can, I want to. 
Magic always with the orange and the blue. I have a little bit here. I'm gonna put a little bit on him, okay? I'll make him an orange beard. Happy the Nomad. What's his name? And what the Nomad. Oh, oh my goodness, look at him. Now he He's the luckiest snowman ever. Wow, guys, that's a really nice leprechaun snowman. All right, now Wally and I, we're gonna make leprechaun bars. <laughs> St. Patty's Day Lucky Charm Bars. So basically you just follow the recipe for Rice Krispie Bars, but substitute Lucky Charms. We got Lucky Charms, we got our mini marshmallows, and I'm gonna melt down the butter. Well, these look magically delicious. That's gonna be a really yummy dessert after some really yummy split pea soup. Well, that looks perfect. Oh my gosh, I love split pea soup. Leave a comment down below if you like split pea soup because I know a lot of people hate it, but I love it. And we made some cheddar grilled cheese to go with it. Looks so Delicious. Perfect pre-St. Patrick's Day dinner. All right, well, it's Monday night, and I think we're gonna end the vlog here, which we never ended idea. on a Monday. But we just did so much the last couple of days with the A lot snow. of snow! <laughs> and we are gonna do some stuff for St. Patrick's Day. Day. And then we have some fun spring break plans. So it's gonna be kind of a weird week of daily vlogs yeah um kind of a little bit different a little bit more old school okay, format like more isolated that's subjects but that's okay yeah. we right now are gonna work I on building it. wally's epic hot wheel oh. leprechaun trap oh. 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 <laughs> he's got big ideas all right well i'm sure by the time you guys see this oh. you'll have already seen our epic leprechaun hot wheel trap oh episode which i have no idea what it's going to turn out to be so go check out that video see how it all came together we're excited to celebrate st patrick's day thanks for hanging out with us while we made it through snowmageddon and thank you guys so much Bye, for watching buddy. make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon whoa buddy look at that and, tut in there. oh no and what oh, should they no. do while they're down there Please hit the tie button and that. Yeah. And you please get that. I'll get that out, buddy. This <laughs> is the wonderful out. world of Walter. We love you just the way you are. Bye. Bye.